don't stop me, I'll keep on running through Cause I've been saving all my money just to get to you That's the Standard Lamps bringing us right to the start of the programme with uh, New Roots this Sunday, our last before January. That's, that's incredible, actually, to uh-huh. think that the uh, last one bef- until, the, until the new year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's still loads of this one left. I know, it doesn't well, seem... it seems like it, anyway. Well, I know, we haven't even got a Christmas tree yet, no, have you? Yeah. We... And you can imagine, it's 35 degrees all year round. It's yeah, either hot yeah. 35 degrees or wet 35 degrees and windy 35 degrees, but it's always 35 degrees. Right. But right outside the office, apparently, there's like a shopping centre. They've um, they've already sprinkled thick snow around and they've got Santa Claus and things. It must be weird. Just I'm wait for the ice rink now, then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what ice is, apart it's... from what goes in the drink. <laughs> well, I, I, I've had to send Christmas puddings to New Zealand. Oh, to, dear me. To my brother. Very expensive. Is it the Hobbit Christmas pudding? I think it is, yeah. About the same size as one. Got much hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> same size as what? Same size as a Hobbit, one of the small ones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they have, do they split them in size? Like, you know, you've got the Gandalf Christmas pudding, uh, the Hobbit Christmas pudding, the Bilbo Baggins Christmas pie. yeah. And there's, there's got to be a Gollum one as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. I don't really fancy that yeah. one, actually. Gollum one. Now yeah. you see it, now it's you don't. It's expensive, because yeah. it's precious. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> on our last programme, who have we got on tonight? It's pre-packed. Well, we got Chris t- doesn't know, does he? Well, well <clears throat> flirting with us throughout the evening between guests is... He uh, is a flirt. He is. Yeah. It's Tony. Hi. T- Hiya. Tony runs the... Um, Got a broom project down in uh, Howsham, which is encouraging young people and giving them an opportunity to play uh, instruments, to sing, and to perform. And uh, he'll be talking about his work there. Uh, we got When Colours Collide, who um, are warming up outside now. Yep. Uh, again, I think it's their third time on the show now. Mm hmm. They're old friends. Uh, always, yep. Yeah, always good to have them on. Uh, a new act uh, to us Noel. Noel Vaughan is Noel Vaughan. a um, jazz singer with a twist. So she's coming in for seven-ish. Yep. And then uh, someone to really see out the... Well, this is our last show. I know it's a bit previous, but it's the last show, so they will really send us out with a bang. Uh, it's a band called Knoxville, who are a five-piece, and I think they're all coming up, who are sort of rockabilly, punk uh, sort of outfit. So uh, expecting lots of noise and... Um, shenanigans from them absolutely now remember it is your program so if you want to get in touch with the program um these days we don't even bother saying telephone us because we're usually on air and we can't answer the phone but you could telephone us technically on 01825 891 105 however the majority of people do the following they can uh go to the website uckfordfm.co.uk and you can contact studio there uh, you can text us text in uh, your message to 80010 start your message with the word Uckfield in a space or you can go straight to email studio studio at uckfieldfm.co.uk or our Facebook page uh, which I'll be picking up outside and of course there's also the web chat which is sort of video chat well yeah you webcam. see Tony at the moment so yeah. uh, Tony wave Tony's on hi in but, the, it's right, a the, bit dark the man it? waving was Tony actually it's it's very dark. dark. It's it very, is very because dark. Because we've got the door closed. And we haven't got the lights on. No. No. So we'll find the switch for them. Yeah, otherwise yeah. it. Yeah. Or the 50p for the Mesa. Yep. Or the yeah. key. Or the key. <laughs> so please get in touch with us. And, if you've got, and particularly with the subject that Tony's going to be discussing. And Tony's going to be popping in and popping out as uh, uh, over, the, over the show. And uh, we, the theme is really um, how we bring new people into music. And you've got a project, uh, Tony, called the Got a Boom Project. Yep. Do you want to tell people a little bit more about it? Um, basically, we started off. Um, I was a youth worker, and a woman called Josie Tipler, a local artist in Helsham, brought a few acts into our youth club. I saw them play, and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to give them a bigger stage with an audience that would appreciate them? So the concept of the Got a Boom was. Um, formed and we are it is our intention to raise a platform of events and opportunities for young musicians to get out there and play their own stuff the stuff that they've created and feel free to express themselves which is brilliant and we've had a lot of people that ask have, and I, how I, do you start yeah it's one of the events that tony had put on was um quite a bit of initiative and and um dynamic I thought behind it was um, 
you, I think you were bus. You had a few of people busking throughout an afternoon outside Tesco's in Howsham, yeah. which is a lot of footfall. A lot of people getting to hear about it, and I saw it, and I thought, yeah, great opportunity to have people on the show, and um, yeah, I think from then on we've sort of made contact. But we've also it's a small world because Josie Tipler is actually Jim, Jim Tipler's wife, who was a guest as the Cajun Dogs, of course. So. Yeah, it's a small world. It's six degrees of separation, isn't yes. it, in the music business? Yeah. It needs only three degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh and that was... <laughs> my simple hut! <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. I'll claim no, it, though. Oh, do you have a, a kind of a, an age range in mind, Tony, for this? Or just, do you see it as sort of, you know, basically kids who are at school in Halsham or... Well, uh, mainly sort of between the ages of 14 and 25. Ones right. that have, have started creating their own stuff. Yeah and maybe would like to get out there and find places to perform yeah but also in building up a group of people that are like a community um you know having people help each other so Mm. and it has to be said that dan Littlechild, who's doing a similar sort of thing in the acoustic valium project up in tumbridge wells and even venturing down into uckford now uh, i think there's a lot of networking between Tony, I mean, obviously, I'm not speaking for him, but Tony and Dan are doing similar jobs, and I think there's a lot of crossover there. And what what Dan is doing up in the sort of north east of the county and and in tum- into Tunbridge Wells, Tony is doing more for the Howsham and Eastbourne area. So it's a great um, initiative, and it's a great project, and it really needs as much support as possible. Hence, why he's on the show. Absolutely, well, the Acoustic Valium project is. I've been to two or three of their nights now, and it's just spectacular really the opportunity that and little child is making possible for young musicians bands yeah you know it is absolutely incredible it sounds like the the the, the way it's working and you tell me if this is this is true in that you provide the grassroots contact and you can put musicians in you know really young musicians you can help them to get on that first ladder and dan's providing the venues that once you've got the um the abilities that they can then move on to is that would that be right well, the way things are at the minute is that we're looking to make opportunities possible for people. Yeah. And really networking and finding out what's going on elsewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, things like jam nights. I'm going to go to Burwash later. Yeah. Where Rob and Sarah have their own jam night. And, um, you know, these sort of things can be opportunities for young musicians to go and play their own thing yeah i mean there's a similar thing gareth owen williams has got something yeah. going in crobra and um they, they put on a show which was uh, last weekend of september i think up in the uh the, the new hall civic hall in uh, in crobra yeah. and um uh you know brought a lot of young bands in kind of did a competition but then also brought in bands to entertain as well so you you had if you like the kind of beginners and then you had the more experienced acts happening at the same time which which is quite inspiring actually isn't it for for, for youngsters to see it's got to be done yeah. you know when when people see successful events being staged they will start getting drawn to them yeah yeah and um you know i'm, okay. I'm gonna make it a mission of mine to get to crowbar rocks which yes, is that's the 28th, that's yes. isn't it? 28th. December. Which is, I think <coughs> Alison Perkins is running that, and she's yeah. another yeah. Uh, stalwart in yes. terms of tirelessly and for no money or no return just giving people a platform and an opportunity to perform in the Crowbar area. And um, I know sometimes it can be disheartening when you do this, all this work, because it's not just the night, it's the run up to it, it's the months, it's getting the line up, it's getting the venue, getting the PA, getting the lighting. And if nobody shows up, it can be incredibly destroying, soul destroying. But these people take their hats off to them, and you, and you, Tony, you just keep going, and that's what it needs. It just needs a constant effort. It absolutely does. Now we're going to invite people to to, to get in touch during the program. I've got more questions for you, and yeah, I know you have as and well. He's here all night, so. So let's now open the floodgates and say, if you'd like to know more about this, if you're if you're if if you are a musician and you don't know where to go, and you're between that those ages, which are again. Yep, 14 and 25. 14 and 25, so it's quite a broad age, age yeah. range. Um, 
or you'd like to be a musician and we have had people approach us who, who think they've got some ability yeah. they'd like to move it but they don't really know how to that might be another little topic that you could um, that you could deal with because it is about networking you need to go yeah. and talk to someone um, we've got some advice that I'm sure that we can uh, we can pass on there then get in touch with us um, either email us as we've said or go onto the web chat and uh, the yeah. webcam chat I should say yeah or Facebook. Or Facebook. I'll just give those details again. Message us, text us on 80010. Start your message with the word Uckfield and a space. Uh, go to the website uckfieldfm.co.uk and you can go to our page, which is the New Roots page, or you can email us, or you can. Um, there's an interviews page, I think, where you can uh, express your interest to be on the air. We can use that as a forum to get in touch with people like Tony and Dan, good child. Yeah. A little child, even. Um, or you can email us, studio at uckfieldfm.co.uk. He's good. That's why I think it's Dan Goodchild, because he's working. Because he's good. good. Oh, yeah. So Tony Good Newton. Yeah, that's Because he's good. <laughs> no, it's, my middle name is Superb. Oh, oh. there you go. It's superb. He's like, like a, a car, Skoda. isn't it? I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. Do you like the heated uh, rear windscreen as well? Do you remember all those Skoda jokes? Other Eastern yeah. European you vehicles call which have been bought out by... What do you German call a, manufacturer what do you call a, what do you call a Skoda convertible? <laughs> a skip. <laughs> ah, keep them coming. Right, look, we must get on with the music because yes, that's yeah, what this yeah. programme is about. Tony, you're going to stick around and come back because we've got more for you. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that coffee I was promised. <laughs> <laughs> you promised him? <laughs> what? All right, Chris, you're on coffee duty, mate. Oh, right. yeah. I thought it was the complimentary yeah. Jack Daniels but <laughs> in the green room. But <laughs> Irish coffee. I think we drank that. <laughs> Chris, we've got, we've got, well, and Dave, we have... Um, And we're live back in the studio here at Uckfield FM on the New Roots programme, and we welcome back Tony. Tony Newton. Hi. Tony Newton. Yes, I live and breathe. <laughs> Who would have believed the day would come when Tony would be here in the studio with us? He's, well, he's been aware of the show for a while, so uh, we're talking about him like he's not here, but um, yeah, just, no, he is just really. building up his introduction, really. But yeah, He's uh, long been a listener and uh, a, a fan of the show and the work we're doing, so... Uh, very I don't know, much, very much so, if I can get a word in the way, so. Oh, He's cheeky. Uh, without, without being sick of fantic at all, in the slightest. I did thank you for the confirmation that the check's in the post. It's all right. Has he said anything good yet? <laughs> no. No, OK. Hmm. He's playing a long game, isn't he? OK. <laughs> we'll get him. But, Tony, I mean, the, 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 the particular engagement, I think this is quite typical of why I wanted to talk to you tonight, is because um, we had a young girl email us young lady yeah. um probably not quite in her teens even um just saying i love to sing and i want to know um how i how i do more um and it's difficult for a lot of people when they're starting out to go who do i where do i turn to and i knew what you did and therefore i got in touch with you and you were incredibly helpful in providing um the sort of contacts and structure now whether that that particular person um ever took it up or not i don't know yeah. but i do know that when i went back to her she was really grateful mm. that somebody anybody had actually listened and given some advice and that's why i think the got a boom project is so crucial well, I actually, um, I, th I think my advice was to, for her to get in touch with Alison. It was? At Crowborough, um, because, like, the girl was from Crowborough. Yeah. And also, the other advice was, and I think maybe this is something that you would say to everybody, is if you want to um, uh, get some advice, mm. the first thing is get something recorded. Yeah, because you need. For, I guess it's for two reasons. One, you need to hear yourself so that you can listen and improve. And the other one is you've got to be able to give somebody something to say. This is what I sound like. Really, if it's it's the only way. Um, if you if you're a bit shy and not really forthright forthcoming mm. in being able to perform it, um, to take it and see what people think is the way to go so, but it also f works like a network really doesn't it I mean if you've got a guitarist that may not be interested or doesn't have a very good voice but can write a song or can play guitar he can you know it's almost like a, f a, a living forum where people can come together and jam um, and then there's obviously the techie side as well if people are interested in maybe not the musical side they just want to do the lighting or the, s the sound engineering <laughs> yeah. side of it um, you know I see it th is that how it works or really um you know it's putting people in touch with people who know what's what's necessary for them to get off the ground 
So if I'm, um, I mean, just because I, I think um, I just want to give you a scenario and say, is this the sort of person? So if I'm say 14 years old and I've been learning guitar and I, and I can sing, or maybe I've got a friend who's um, who sings with me, um, but we've got no experience. Would that be the sort of person that we could come to the Got a Boom project and you could either advise or you could hook them up and say, well, talk to these people? Very much so, yeah. Yeah. And also, I suppose, that what you've also got is a mechanism of once all these people have come together, putting on a performance where these people can actually perform because, you know, the, the, the obvious route at the moment is pubs or clubs and a lot of them, they're too young to perform yeah. in that. So, you, the, you know, the Got A Boom project or um, whatever, uh, Dan Littlechild is in Cobra Rocks. Um, if they're not held in pubs and you've got a, a, an outlet that's willing to put on a show, a talent show or whatever, then I suppose you're just linking people up well, again, aren't you? There are opportunities for performing that are being missed. Um, but I've, I was talking to somebody um, at, a, at a residential place where they look after people who've had brain damage. Now, there is the opportunity of getting people going into that place and performing. As a sort of musical therapy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As, as, a, as an entertainment as well. Yeah. There's so much um, that can be done, but it will take effort. Mm. It will, but you're doing a, a, a terrific job in just taking up some of the slack there because people genuinely don't know who and where to turn to. Yeah. So w we've got a, a, a running conversation here because one of the, the things that um, I think we're going to need to cover is how do people get in touch with you, but we're going to save that for mm -hmm. our next slot, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, because there are several ways they can get in touch with us. And they would be? Um, Facebook, we've got a, got a Boom Project page. Um, we also have a telephone number, 07549 751 and a very unwieldy email address, <laughs> got a Boom Project <laughs> at googlemail.com. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah, absolutely. The main thing is it gets there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we'll... That Gmail works as well. I was just going to say you can shorten that to Gmail these yeah, days, can't you? Work. I um, will come back to you at the, at the, at the, because we need to capture all of that. I've put the links on the Uckfield FM page. If you find the new routes page on Uckfield FM, the links to all of the bands that you hear tonight um, are on there. But I think the link that I've made is the Facebook page Brilliant. to you. Yeah. So um, people will always find it. Mm. Okay, Tony. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming in. You're still going to be around because we're going to have you back. And I noticed that you've got custard creams to go with my coffee, so yeah. Ah, oh, no, you haven't let the cat out of the bag. The custard creams. Well, they are. Crikey, these are getting more expensive. There is a bit a of a mountain out there of them. <laughs> you've heard of the EU butter mountain? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the <laughs> UFM custard cream mountain out there. But um, Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Everest on... Uh, <laughs> Well, like to Embassy know. Day 2013, and the legend that is Tony Newton is finally tackling the custard cream mountain. What a gent! What a what a hero this guy is! Looking down from the helicopter, I do my best. <clears throat> Sorry, this is a music program, not a custard cream advertisement. Other yeah. custard creams are available. That kind of wore me out. That <laughs> wore you out. It's wore my voice out. Lovely. Well, we got Noel Vaughan saying that she's loving Knoxville, but they're helping me get through my uni assignment. So... <laughs> Thanks, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you give a game away there. What you're supposed to say is, oh, we don't know that. It's another fan. I yeah. know. Now, I think <laughs> we're going to try and get Tony back in to close off um, about the God of Boom project. Yeah. And then we want to play out. You know, we, yeah. want, we, we just want to play music. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. So where's Tony? Where's Tony? Tony? Come here. Come here, me lover. Come on, Tony stuff. Come on, Tony. Come with me, lover. Now, Tony, we've been listening to some great music tonight, I hope. I hope. And um, obviously, you're, you've got the programme, the Got A Boom programme, which is aimed at people just starting out, completely the other end of the, of the spectrum. What advice would you give people that are looking for support like that? Um, just starting out. Really, lots of people who've had experience, I mean, to have gone to Hamburg and... Uh, back over to Germany soon. I think um, you know these type of bands would be good to sort of key into for like mentoring. Yeah, yeah. Um, what helped us a lot in the past was um, South of Saturn. 
they ended up there's somebody there Charlie Tipler who's excellent with sound we had somebody doing lighting different experiences you know apart from being a musician um it all helps yeah i mean tony you've, you've been in the program tonight and sat through the whole thing you've heard two three sorry very different uh bands and musicians and yeah everyone's doing the same thing we're out there trying to entertain and 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 have a good time i think the two go together don't they you're not going to do this is a labor of love you no one goes into music because they have to no of course not never it can't it can't ever happen can it no You've got to have a lot of passion for it, which which sets you out as being uni unique. All musicians are unique for that reason. And it's clear it, you have to be clear about whether you want to be yeah. a successful musician or singer, or you just want to be famous. If you want to be famous, X Factor is your thing. I think that's about when you're trying to become famous rather than become a musician. The guys out there that are picking up guitars and that are, are, are doing thankless work in bedrooms and then trying to get the odd gig and even in, uh, we've said it before, paying to play gigs are the ones that are really uh, going to make it eventually um, and that hard work does pay off um, but that's it we haven't we, we almost got to the end of the show before we slagged the X Factor uh, we normally do it throughout <laughs> oh, it's the end of our 2012 uh, we've had the Coldplay chestnut uh, yeah. now we've got the X Factor yeah, it has chestnut. to come up it <laughs> has to come up well, but, it is the season for chestnuts yeah oh. roasting by the open fire oh we'll go far this boy <laughs> <laughs> so Tony, you know, just just sort of finishing off with the God of Boom project. Can yeah. you remind us how? And it's it's people in the fourteen to 24, 25 year old um, age band. Yep. And if they're interested in in taking part, how do they get in touch with you again? Yep, we have an email: got a boom project at gmail dot com. Jo uh, like us on Facebook. Have a look on Facebook. See what's happening around. And. Um, if you'd like to call 07549 866751, I'll gladly answer. And if I can advise, if I can help in any way, then I will. Okay, couldn't right. say fairer than that. I think it's a really important project for the people in, um, in this and surrounding areas. Yeah. So, you know, I hope people support it. Tony, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. We are going to play some ads and then we're going to go straight back to Knoxville and you can do whatever you want because we just love it.